They were larger than life. No! I can do this long as you can. So in death, it seems only fitting these celebrities maintain their status. But at the most famous Hollywood cemetery, Forest Lawn, fame is fleeting. 300 acres dotted with statues, English chapels, art, and a museum, but not an elaborate burial site to be found. A million people a year visit, many hoping to find where their favorite actor or musician's been laid to rest. Welcome to Finding a Needle in a Haystack. Yeah, because if I drive in and, and ask which celebrities are buried here and where they are, what's the answer I get? Uh, you'll get, we don't give out that information. So we printed a guide off the internet, which reads more like a treasure hunt, to try to find the graves of Hollywood royalty, hoping to eventually weave our way to what will be Michael Jackson's final resting place. So we're trying to find Nat King Cole, Gracie Allen, and George Burns. And the instructions say the key to us finding these is going to be looking for this statue. Inside the Freedom Mausoleum, we find the statue. It's difficult to see the names. Nat King Cole, Gracie Allen, and George Burns are all here. On the back wall of this room, a few spaces to the right of the central statue, is a small niche containing the ashes of Dorothy Dandridge. There it is right there. We're just leaving the Hall of Freedom, and without this map and these directions, we would absolutely be sunk. There'd be no way to ever find these graves. Just outside the Hall of Freedom, we found Walt Disney's final resting place. And right there is the actual original statue of the Little Mermaid. Against the north wall, we're going to find Carol Flynn. Apparently, it's beneath the small statue of the woman. Yep, there it is. And the map said Spencer Tracy wasn't far. We're still looking for Spencer Tracy's grave. I feel like we're on a scavenger hunt. And the prize is finding a famous dead person. It's kind of weird. Some celebrities are just off limits. Humphrey Bogart and Sammy Davis wow. Jr. are as famous as they come, but come, you can't. It has been restricted to those possessing a golden key of memory, which is given to property owners when they purchase these sites, and these doors are always locked. Beloved Jimmy Stewart is not locked away, but not easy to find either. Stand right in front of the man's bow as if he were aiming at you. Now turn around and face the opposite direction. Walk six rows away, which we've done. One, two, there it is. James Maitland Stewart. Now we're going to try to go by the Great Mausoleum, which is where Michael Jackson is supposed to be buried, but it's all barricaded off. So we're going to just try to get a shot of it as we drive by. Security just stopped us and told us that we're not going to be able to get anywhere near that building right now. Tomorrow, Michael Jackson will become perhaps Forrest Lawn's most famous celebrity, leaving the fans he adored locked out for eternity. This is Lisa Fletcher for Nightline in Los Angeles. And thanks to Lisa for that. When we come back.